Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. In the last part, Cole aged up, and little Miss Scarlet was born. And of course, October did not give me twins, because she just doesn't want to. Cole <laughs> has been really distracting trying to make his outfits, as he continuously does that every 15 seconds. But, oh, Max is his favoriting things. That'll be good, showing up in my video. Um, so, I decided to make him, like, super... My god, my god. I tried to make him super fashion. He's my fashion-forward little dude. He even has has a, um, a suit, a tux that he wears for his party wear. I think he looks fantastic. He's he's a ma he's gonna be a magical fashion designer when he grows up. You just wait. And uh, so we need to send October out to get pregnant, and then we need to go check up on one of her children or and or grandchildren. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we are once again at Elixirs and Brews, and uh, we thought maybe we might have another magical child. And here is a person already here. And since it's like really really what? Who's been? Oh, that's right. We have no teenagers. Scarlet child. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry, I have no teenagers. I just saw children at home. That's terrible. Hello, please acknowledge us. <laughs> Please? <laughs> no? Let's try again. Please acknowledge us? This bar is really cute. I really like it. Excellent. And don't start a conversation with anyone, promise? We should have a do in a bush here from the last time we were here. We can have a first kiss. We literally just met this dude. We literally just introduced ourselves and he already wants to kiss us. That's amazing. Where would I have stuck the do in a bush? Ah, right there in the center. Or in the front, I mean. <laughs> it's off to the side, it's fine. We just met, guy! Seriously? Crazy sauce. It looks like he's pregnant. He's not, right? Maybe he is. Are you pregnant? <laughs> I can't tell. No, it's his boyfriend, okay. Well, we don't definitely don't want him to be our boyfriend, that's for sure. Oh, who's here? Who's- oh no. Did we have a baby with you last time? Well, we had a baby with him at some point. Sorry, guy. We're just running around breaking hearts. Try for a baby in the bush. We literally have had a less than five interactions with this dude and he already wants to make a baby with us. October needs to write a book. She needs- well, she's written lots of books. She needs to hold a seminar or something. She needs to go down to the university and hold a seminar on how to- how to have a thousand million children. Can't even get to a hundred. It's terrible. Oh, look how pretty you are! Look how pretty you are! Oh my goodness, so pretty. So pretty I can't stand it. All right, here we go, off to have a baby in the bush. October looks like she's put on weight since the last part, which is weird because I haven't played the game. <laughs> so that's strange, you need to get her back on the treadmill. All right, come on, you guys. And uh, October's feeling fine, so we could go uh, exploring in the, especially since the kids need to go off to school and I have to be here for that. So before we can go off and meet one of our children, see how they're doing, fix their lives or ruin it, which is usually the case. Where is that little place? Oh, I... There it is. We can head off here as soon as we find out if she's pregnant or not. This doesn't seem dangerous at all, does it? <laughs> are these uh, genderless bathrooms? No, they're... Yes, they are. Good. Perfect. Like I said, it's 2020, people. Don't need to have gendered bathrooms anymore. It's just a place to go potty. Come on, be pregnant. Be pregnant, because he's gonna leave. No! Nope. She's not pregnant. Immediately... That's your name, right? Simeon? <laughs> Simeon? Yeah, okay. It's not Simon for some reason. Come on. That's right, wash your hands. Very important. Come on. Get her pregnant, dude. Schools. All right, kids are going off to school. That's fine. Just... Oh, that's right. The ki That's right. The kids learn stuff when they're in daycare, which is fantastic. So, it's just gotta be around long enough until the kids get back from school. Where are my points at? Can I buy something? I know I said I want to buy another, um... Another money tree. Never weary. Yeah, I want to get to 10,000 before I start buying stuff. Fertile? We don't have fertile? We don't have that? Are you ser- are you for realies? We don't have that. What? Oh, well that would have made my life a lot easier. I swear I purchased that. Oh, what an idiot I am. Oh, potion of curse cleansing. Potion to remove all curses from a sim. That's pretty sweet. The pictures are different than they used to be. That's cool. Mermaidic kelp turned to a mermaid. No, that's all right. Oh, God. All right. Beguiling. Oh, I like they changed all the pictures. That's really cool. Buy fertile, for God's sake. Insanity. Woman, you need to go take a pregnancy test. He's probably already left. Oh, thank goodness. Eating for two. Good. Can't believe I didn't have the fertile trait. Okay, let's just get over it. Let's move on. Let's move past it. Oh, where is that thing? Oh, God, I always lose it. Where the hell is it? Over here. Go, uh... Travel to this magical realm. No, we don't need to talk to anybody else. He he's done. He's good. All right, kids are off to school, which is great. This person is following us for some reason. Super creepy. Dude, seriously. Dude. Oh, it's a teenager. Stop. It's weird. Thank you. That was a long ass way, huh? Gosh, she's gonna walk through water in her high heels and everything. All right, whatever. 
Ew, spooky days tomorrow. Nice. Oh my goodness. Come on, you guys. By the time I get there, the kids will be back from school. Swirling vortex pierce to lead to a realm. Yep, that's what we want to do. All right, yeah, see, like I said, I wanted to make her magical, but I don't know if I will because apparently you can't be magical and a vampire. But if I can make her immortal, I don't need to make her a vampire. So either way works for me. Oh, this is pretty. Magical realm. Nice. It's pretty. Pause it for a second. So just killing time here. What? Go to the gardens. All right. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, this isn't just, what is this? What? The... Go to Caster's Alley. This isn't just a magical realm. This is like, this is insane. Look at this. Um, hmm. Right, right, hi. Sage of Untamed Magic. Yep, that's what that says. Cook something. How do I become magical? How does that work for me? What do I do? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just a light. Cook. Uh-huh. 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 There's a kitchen here and everything. I guess we can talk to him. We can give him a this person cheerful introduction. Oh, this is the dude we slept with. Look, he uh he's magical as well. Sage of practical magic. That's cool to know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I still didn't look into it because I'm the best at everything. So I can just say hey. And uh what could we cook? Cook chili oh this is just for food. Uh um I'm, I'm I'm real confused. I'm like all, all kinds of confused. I don't know what to do with myself. What's over here? Buy potion ingredients, buy brooms and crystals. All right, let's go here. Let's go to Diagon Alley or whatever. What was it called? Caster's Alley. Stop talking to this guy. Forget him, forget him. Look what they're doing, look at him. Look what he's doing. He's having a, a stare off with this chair over here. Whoa. <laughs> bow, bow. Okay, come on, go. You're really slow. And you're hungry, which is fantastic. We'll send you home after I figure out if I can make you magical or not. Boop, boop. Okay. So what can we do? Um, buy wands, tomes, and familiars. It's interesting. Buy brooms and crystals. Let's buy. Let's look at the see, because you know our our son Cole is a a wizard <laughs> or whatever. There's ghosts that are the the people selling it. All right. Did they just mean these crystals? Oh, and buy potion ingredients. They should just look at everything. Um, the classic wood room. Yeah, I don't want any of that stuff. Let's look at potion ingredients. Come on. I don't. We don't want to talk to anybody either. All right, an apple, baconite, death metal, kissing gourmet, my blah, 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 blah. spellcaster perks. How do I become a spellcaster? How does it work? Why am I so stupid? <laughs> Wands and tomes. If I buy a tome, it'll get me started here. Wand. Familiar orb of bunner, bunnerfly. What? Tome of copy pasto. Copy pasto. <laughs> Teaches the reader a spell to turn one small object. Tome of decursify. Tome of transcendent charmer. Unlock the power of romantic conversation. All right, let's buy, oh, we have so much money. Let's buy a wand and let's buy one of all of these books. Uh, let's buy a really cool wand, uh, which is the most expensive one. The natural wand, hand carved by the finest one, different than the last, ancient wood one. Uh, let's buy the natural one. Now, let's spend a thousand bucks, it's fine. Daily offerings are always changing, right. So if I click on this wand, that's a sparkler. Where's the wand? If I click on this wand, I can name it. Oh man, I don't know. Study magical tome? I really don't know. All right, well, we went here, so that's something anyway. Way, where are you going? Get water. No, I don't need to get any water. We need to go home. This place is crazy. I don't know how I get cell reception out here, to be honest. Where does this one go? Go to the gardens. See what's over there. Kids are gonna be home any minute. All right, what's at the gardens? Ooh, it's pretty. Look for frogs? No, we don't want to do that. Oh, can we not go inside of here? Bunch of stuff. This is, oh. Okay, let's just, let's just go. I really need to look into what it is that I have to do, honestly. Go return back to Glimmerbrook. Fiona, why are you calling us? No, we're busy. All right, Cole has a C and Josh is a grade B. That's pretty awesome. Yes, I want to leave the magical realm. It's not that magical. I'm sorry. Alrighty, so I've decided to check up on Fiona since she was calling October as we were leaving Glimmerbrook or whatever it's called. She has a lovely little house. Look how lovely it is. I think she had this nice big bed up here. This is lovely. Now she wanted to be a chef, did she not? She did. So let's, before we do anything else, I mean, she has a terrible kitchen, but we don't really need to, to fix anything up for her, which is nice. Which I usually have to do that. Let's find her a job as a chef. Culinary, that's the one. 
I was like, we're chef. <laughs> I'm the best. All right, so she needs a culinary mixology skill. Okay, so she has no money, so we need to give her some. So I'm just going to cheat really quick. Okay, just got this really, oh, you're rid of that. Really simple little uh, bar here that she can practice making drinks on. But before we do that, which we're not going to do that at the moment, we need to get her a pet first. Who lives here? They have decorations up. Oh, for spooky day, right. We need to get her a tub then because we'll be spending spooky day with her. I don't know where that is actually though. That's bad. Is that? Oh, can you get bikes in this game? I forgot all about that. That's funny. You can get jet skis? Oh man, I'm so behind on everything. I don't know what it's called. There, there we go. Okay, good. Ooh, let's get purple bins. Yeah, let's stick them right there. Who cares? Perfect. We can decorate for spooky day. Yeah! Whoa! Look at the second floor! I didn't even notice the whole thing! It's got a balcony and everything! This house is bitchin'! And look at all this crap back here she could just take and sell for money! Alright, we need to get her a pet before we do anything else because this place is huge and she <laughs> absolutely uh, needs some company. So, hire a service, correct? Is that correct? Um, let's adopt a kitty cat. Right, let's see. Mimi. Like Mimi. I like Mimi. She's really cute and her one ear isn't quite right, so I like like that one. <laughs> we'll take that one. Oh, that was quick. She just showed up. Hi. Where's the cat? Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? You brought a crate, but no kitty. Oh, it's a kitten. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice. Hello. Adopt immediately. So cute. There's only an old lady lives here, though. That is an issue. I would redecorate it if I felt like... If I felt compelled to, but I don't. Oh, so cute. All right, we need to get kitty stuff immediately. And you need to get out of my house also. Don't want you around. Um, okay. Yes, no, we need kitty stuff. We need pet stuff. All right, let's get this food bowl going. Actually, I want that in the kitchen, I think. Right next to the stove, that seems safe. <laughs> Put the litter box out here. We want one of them self-cleaning litter boxes. Let's get a pink one, because why not? And uh, we need a cat stand. I think we will remove this. Is where ain't nobody ain't nobody playing chess in here. And we will get one of these cat stands. Not that one though. Maybe that one. This one. That's the one. Pinks. Love pinks. I really need to redecorate her place. Her place is disgusting, like decoration wise. Size wise, it's perfect. Um I think that's good. Maybe we need some toys? I'm not really sure. I don't remember if the cats play with toys. I don't think so. So I'll just leave it. No, don't take the couch anywhere. Leave the couch where it is. Alright. Uh let's Fill this and fill the bowl. So Mimi has plenty to eat. I don't know who Medi is. Why are you telling me? Literally have no clue. Is Medi related to her in some fashion? Who is her parents? Ah, her dad. Oh, well, life goes on. I even have her grandmother listed on there. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty cray cray. Mimi is ter- Oh, I didn't even look at her stats. I just look at, I just look at how cute they are. Mimi's territorial. She doesn't like strangers. Well, too bad. Um, let's find Fiona, someone to love, like the Queen song. Anybody in the vicinity? It doesn't look like it. There we go. Some gentleman walking down the path here. Probably Gonzalo Ginter. It sounds like somebody October's had a baby with, but let's just find out. I wasn't looking for anyone in particular, just anybody. <laughs> Literally anybody. <laughs> I'm that choosy. Um, if things, since it's only Friday, if things go really well with Fiona here, we already got her her job. I'll get her skill up in the mixology skill. And uh, if we get her, she could have a spooky day wedding. That would be fun. Yeah. Hi, do you like us? You're uncomfortable. I'm sorry about that. Let's discuss his uncomfortable mood. No, Liam, stop talking to us. I don't know if Fiona is quite possessed of October's amazing ability to get people to fall in love with her. So yeah, she doesn't even have the Christmas skill. It should go really well. What are you guys fighting over? It's our granddaughter and it's our, um, okay, so they're cousins. So this is our brother or October's son. So it's cool. They're, they're cousins hanging out over this nasty trash can area. That's cool. Many people here are related to us. Not that many. You know, thinking to do a 100 baby challenge, everyone and their mother would be related to us, but they're not, which is refreshing. Who are you? Also not related to us. Well, all about them. Your hair is amazing, by the way. Impersonate mermaids. Why would we? Is he a mermaid? All right, some random person has joined our conversation, which does not work for me. So let's go ahead and go home. We can invite him over tomorrow and uh, let's make some food and let's have some drinks so we get that skill thing out of the way. And uh, who the hell are you? Please get off of my property, of my property. Um, let's see, we could serve, ooh, fish tacos, delicious. I really don't like fish that much, but if you put it in a taco, I'll definitely eat it. That's right, today is spooky day. Do we have work today? 
Uh, yep, we do have work today, so not be throwing a spooky day party, which is fine, I guess. We have the decorations up. Uh, okay, so let's take down the decorations and put them back up again. <laughs> there we go. Does that count? No? Why doesn't that count? Oh, there we go. Okay, that would have been weird. She's gonna be happy about that. All right, since we have work today, let's just quickly make drinks. Make our favorite drink? No. Their favorite drinks are always the worst. Uh, hmm. Flaming Zesty Salt. Yeah, that's your new favorite drink. So we're gonna make that drink three times. I think that should be enough to satisfy this thing. Or maybe twice is enough, I don't really know. <laughs> and me measly by the floor, so cute. Yeah, though this counts as a bed, doesn't it? Oops. Oh, this thing moves around, that's weird. Oh, what happened? You're really cold? Oh, uh, let me get you a thermostat. You should probably have one. There's piece something right here. It's really bare, but I can't be bothered. All right. Uh, put the drink down. Put the drink down. Uh, turn the thermostat on and continue making flaming zesty salts. You don't need to drink them. Just leave them there. And uh, just practice making drinks and that should be good. What else does she want to do? She wants to wear a costume. We can definitely do that once you're finished. What costume do we want to wear though? The Grim Reaper might be fun. Yeah, we're gonna be the Grim Reaper. Josh, thank you, her little brother congratulating her on the job. Why are you scream crying? Is it because you can't reach this cute little fish with a, or bird with a long tail? You can do it, I, I believe in you. And we reached Mixology level two. Now put your costume on, perfect. And we're doing good, I'm not really concerned about the other ones. Let's invite over, uh, no one because we're hungry. <laughs> Let's uh, have brunch, mmm, mmm, fruit salad. And uh, pee and shower and then invite over uh, what's his face? I forget his name. I think his name was a Gonzalez. I'm almost positive October's had a kid with him. What is in here? School project. Get rid of it. Gonzalo. I'm almost positive we've had a kid with him. It's so typical. She'll be wearing her Grim Reaper costume when she goes to her first day on the job. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that won't. <laughs> I'm sure no one will think that's strange. Does she have a cold? She does. She does have a cold. She doesn't have a computer though, which is a little irritating. Okay. We'll put a computer in your room and order you some medicine. No, we can order a little laptop. That's cool. I like that. Left her like with no money, but it's fine. Okay, so now we have a little bit of time. We can invite Gonzalo over. Ah, uh, there he is. See if we can at least get him to move in with us. Oh, it's so snowy out. I love the ice. Oh man, I never noticed that before because we didn't live anywhere near water. It's fantastic. What a great detail. Starts in an hour. Damn. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn. Come in. Invite him in. We'll talk to you right up until we gotta get out of here. She looks so fabulous. She looks like she's ready to run around kitchen already. All right, really quick. Let's just be super up there and talk quickly. And he's angry. Oh, that's even better. Oh, why are we having an unpleasant conversation? Why are you being a dickwad guy? Why are you being Why are you being horrible? Apologize to him for no reason. Uh, try to calm him down because he's being horrible. Why is he angry? What's his beef? Okay, he doesn't want to be calmed down either. So let's just go to work. Get out of our house. You're terrible. Okay, she's back home. He's, uh, it's been a super crazy these past few days. I'm heading down to the park to relax. Do you want to tag along? No, I really don't. Thanks, mom. But don't you have children at home? <laughs> Uh, he was horrible and he was just ranting and raving all around our house. So that was super fun And it's a little late to invite him back now and we had a terrible day apparently Okay, so let's have some fish tacos go to sleep and let's try that again in the morning oh, And it's officially winter. Can you tell by this amazing amount of snow new skill day? That's fun. I don't think we need to yeah, we just need to make more drinks downstairs Do we work today? Yes. I don't think we'll make it, guys. I really don't. Get up. You're sleeping in so late. We need a better bed. Stop sleeping in so late. It's not to look good. Make a pet drink? Minty Fresh Pet Confection? I didn't know you could make pet drinks. That's weird. I shouldn't give them to kittens, probably, but I'll keep that in mind for, <laughs> for Mrs. or Marshmallow. That's super weird. Let's just make our favorite drink a bunch of times. Whatever that is. It's probably seltzer water. What is our favorite drink? Beer? Oh, that's so bad. Liam? No. We are busy. Don't drink it, just make it. <laughs> it is, it's just barley beer, right? Why won't you tell me what it's called? It literally won't tell me what it's called. Is it a root beer float or is it a beer? <laughs> no clue. Okay, good. Glad to get that sorted out. All right, let's try and invite that dude over again real quick. I don't know how much time we have. Hopefully he won't be angry three hours. Hopefully he won't be super pissed. Oh, goody. He looks like he's sad today. He's a whirlwind of emotions. Uh, can we not just invite him in? Can we not? Oh, he's just, he's just gonna come in. Let's discuss his sad mood. That sounds like fun. Let's have a talk in the bathroom. That sounds even better. He's angry still. Try to cheer him up. Jesus, what's wrong with this dude? Okay, he's happy. Thank God. All right, quickly. 
Let's try and get him as happy as possible so that we can get him to at least move in so we don't have to keep doing this anymore. He's a genius? I don't think so. Alright, well, we acquired the singing skill and the charisma. Okay, I say one of them should count. Be honest, there's work in an hour. Are you like us enough to move in? No, can't ask him. Ask to join household. There we go. Just join our household. You don't even have to be... We have an extra bed. You don't have to be romantically involved with us right now. Just move in. Uh, are you married? I don't know. No, this is... <laughs> He's Chio's husband. Ah, uh, shit. He's Chio's husband. That doesn't work for me. And Kennedy's their kid. Are they married married? I think they're married married. All right, forget it. Forget it, get out of my house. Get out. We don't want you. <laughs> I guess, I guess there just won't be anybody for uh, Fiona this time around anyway. Just, just leave, just leave. Maybe if Chio dies. If Chio dies, then sure. But you'll probably be an old man by then and we won't want you. Because we're young, right? Yeah, we're young. Well, that stinks. <laughs> oh, Mimi aged up to a dog cat. Hooray for Mimi! Good. Very good for you, Mimi. I can get up on the couch. Look how big her ears are. Her ears are freaking huge. I love it. Oh, okay. We were promoted to a mixologist. Well, that's not that bad. Still have to work the next day. God damn it. All right. Well, that was, that was an unbelievable... Ooh. That was an unbelievable epic fail. She seems super. She doesn't seem super upset about it though. Look how happy she is. All right, let's go back and check in on October, and uh, then I think we're gonna end the part because I feel like an idiot. I feel like I wasted this whole thing on the silliest thing imaginable that is trying to steal our sister's husband away. <laughs> okay, where is everybody at? It's the middle of the night. It's the middle of the night, and October is out here. What the hell is this? Making veggie burgers? Uh -huh. Is that what that is? Uh -huh. What is she making? Yeah. Oh my god, October. You are hilarious. In the middle of a snowstorm. Only you. Where are we at with the pregnancy? We're in the question mark phase of the pregnancy, so actually we might just stick around till this baby is born. Where is Charlotte at with her skills? She just needs to get her thinking skill up, which is fine. Why would you put him out here, October? Good lord. Everybody needs to get to bed. Why is everyone awake in the middle of the night? Go ahead and eat your veggie burgers inside. Inside. It's almost Charlotte's birthday. Yeah, I know. We need to really get that skull up. We will, I promise. Oh, and it looks like a Scarlet aged up without us <laughs> because I didn't know that all of our dead children have sent her gifts. That's fine. Angelic. Sure. Why not? And perfect. She has red hair, so perfect name for her. Oh god, how many kids and grandkids do we have? Okay, good. Good. I'm embarrassed that nobody was there for her, but that's fine. Already, October has gone into labor, which is perfect because Charlotte is just about to hit the um, third, whatever you would call it, <laughs> thinking skill. Playing shapes with her blocks, play blocks with her shapes, shapes with her blocks, you know. You know what I'm talking about. We can't have, tw <laughs> I have got the fertile trait, but we can't have twins or triplets. Mr. Marshmallow's running through the hallway. He's obviously very excited. See, and there we go. And now we can also age Charlotte up before we end the part, so you can stop doing that. She had a nightmare, so she's sad. So, so I said, okay, play with your blocks until you're over your nightmare. <laughs> and it's another girl. Okay, this one we are naming Audrey, because I like that name. Like Audrey Hepburn. We need to start having some boys again. That's four oh, girls in a row. Sorry. Goodness me. So cute. Excellent. And hopefully another magical child would be perfect. And uh, now that you're awake, October, or you're hungry, are you? Now we need to take care of the baby. You can't just run off. We need to do super efficient baby care. And you also need to eat and stuff. Why? No, why are we doing this thing where you won't go take care of your own child? Don't worry about the other kids. The other kids are fine. The only thing I need you to do is I need you to make another cake. All right, let's... Ooh, poke him. Ooh, poke him. No, I want to put birthday candles on it, goddammit. Put birthday candles on it. Stop running away. And then you can eat and check on the garden, because I'm sure it needs tending to. Yes, it does. Beckett is calling us. Uh, someone named... Someone named a grandson Beckett, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Vampire of the Masquerade, anyone? Um, no, we're not going to age up, but we are going to help Charlotte age up really quickly. Ooh, look at this. I say Charlotte was out in the snow. Look at this crystal just sitting here. Jet. When slotted into the celestial crystal crown, this crystal boots whim satisfaction point gains, blah, 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 blah. What? Cannot be sold or deleted. That's interesting. Put it in our inventory. All right, did you help her? I Sorry, I wasn't looking. I was distracted by some magical crystal on the ground. All right, Charlotte aged up. She's not going to be clingy anymore, which is nice. Instead, she's going to be a music lover. So great. Let's give her the creativity trade. Perfect. And she's freaking gorgeous. What a gorgeous kid. Alrighty, so with all of that said and done, we can finally end the part. <laughs> Look at all these people sending gifts. October, go ahead and serve yourself something scrumptious. 
make yourself some omelets. In the next part, we are, yeah, going to be hanging around the Collins household uh, because we have no more room to make any more babies. We need to try and get Josh to a teenager, apparently, and Charlotte to a child as well. Don't know, it'll probably just be a big montage part of stuff leading up until Winterfest. So I'll probably go through Monday, Tuesday, and once it's Winterfest, that's where I'll end the part. Whose birthday is that? Okay, that would be Audrey's birthday. I mean, Charlotte's birthday. All right. Lots of birthdays. Look at all the birthdays. But if you did enjoy this, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to. I'll see you for the next part of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Bye-bye.